Red Sox Notebook, September call-ups ready to contribute The expanded roster of September can be a double-edged sword for players called up to reinforce the major league lineup. On the one hand, it's an opportunity for a younger player to be in the big leagues during the pennant race. But on the other hand, it can be difficult to get playing time and stay ready to contribute on a successful team. Infielder Devin Marrero, one of a handful of September call-ups who also spent some time with the Red Sox earlier in the season, credits the coaching staff for making sure the extra players are sharp. I think it all starts when you get to the field early and you go and do your early work. Coaches Brian, Butterfield and Gary DeSersina, they have a good routine for us when we get out there. Marrero said before the Sox faced the Toronto Blue Jays last night at Fenway Park. And the way that we work it's full speed and it's game-like. So it makes us ready for any situation that we are put in. And throughout the day and throughout the game, just talking about situations and stuff like that keeps you alert and keeps you ready for any moment during the game. Marrero got a start at second base Monday, as did first baseman Sam Travis. Both right-handed hitters offered manager John Farrell with extra options against left-handed starter Jay Ahap, but neither started last night against right-handed starter Marco Estrada. With several Sox right-handed hitters suffering through reverse splits this season, Travis might see a few more chances to play in September than maybe he would have in past seasons. These guys are professionals. Most of them have been here for a while had a lot of success. They know what they're going, how to make an adjustment, how to attack the game, said Travis, who had two hits against Hap on Monday. For me I'm just trying to contribute any way I can when I get called upon. Marrero is known for his dazzling glove, and based on game situations he could find himself called upon more as a defensive replacement than a pinch hitter. Regardless of their skill set. The September call-ups want to both contribute to the Sox reaching the postseason and maybe convince the brass to keep them on the roster for the playoffs. I think we're all trying to be a part of that postseason, Marrero said. That's the main goal is to help this team get there and then be a part of it. So whatever the team needs, that's what we're here for, that's what all the September call-ups are here for. Smith in the pen The Sox activated reliever Carson Smith from the disabled list last night. Smith, who hasn't pitched in the majors this season, while rehabilitating from Tommy John surgery, was 1-2 with a 6.00 ERA in 11 appearances for AAA Pawtucket and AA Portland combined. He walked six batters and struck out six. Smith was removed from his last appearance because he was hit by a line drive in his rear end Sunday but Farrell expected him to be available against the Jays. To make room on the 40-man roster, Kyle Martin was designated for assignment. The 26-year-old Martin made two appearances for the Sox this season and allowed one run on two hits in 21 D3 innings. He was 0-4 with a 4.36 ERA in 33 games for Pawtucket. Dustin's return the Sox were hoping for a spark from second baseman Dustin Pedroia's return to the lineup last night after he had a scheduled day off on Monday. In two games, since coming off the disabled list, Pedroia was 1-4-6 with five strikeouts. He went into the game against the Blue Jays batting .301 with six home runs, 54 RBI and a .778 ops. What it means to us and our defense up the middle speaks for itself. Any time he's back in the lineup is clearly a positive, Farrell said. With Pedroia starting and Xander Bogertz at shortstop for the second straight game after three games off, the Sox had their regular double play combo together for the first time since July 28. No Brents despite leading the International League with 31 home runs this season, outfielder Bryce Brents will not be among the call ups. Brents was removed from the 40 man roster in spring training and there isn't a spot open for him. Some thought the right-handed slugger could have helped down the stretch. The decision to not bring him to Boston showed Travis, Brent's teammate for much of the season, how cutthroat professional baseball can be. It's a business. These people in the office are here for a reason, and it's not in our control, Travis said.